Walter's on a little patch there of twist tops and pull tabs, and he's got another target just within uh, one foot of each other. I've got a target right here. We had a windstorm come up. There's twigs all over the surface over here. This one's gonna be harder to find here because these twigs. Gonna go for it. I just found some jewelry a couple minutes ago. My battery died in my GoPro camera. That video kind of ended abruptly. Right after I dug that jewelry out. Oh, this ground. Oh, it's a nickel, dude. Another nickel? Another nickel right here. Coin bowl. Right there. Freaking older one, too. Crazy. Uh, two nickels in this beat up area today already. And some jewelry. Of course, it's going to be a full tab. I'm gonna dig this one out here. This one sounds like two targets here. Oh boy. Right there. Scream, screamer. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at I found on the ground, dude, deep in the ground. Uh, uh, bubble? Bubble blower. It says something on it. Oh, guess where it says made in? China? Made no in China, way. yeah. <laughs> that far back? Yeah, I guess so. Another pull tab right here, a big one. Dude, a big one. Look at that. Crazy, dude. There is two targets in here. It really sounded like two targets. Nope, guess not. Oh, there is. Yeah, right here. Right next to it. Right here. Right there. Right in the plug. Right there. There we go. Should be right in this clump right here. Got it. Pull tab. Half a pull tab. Right there. One nice thing I found about this setup. Uh-huh. Where I'm I'm connecting the legend directly to this external speaker. Uh-huh. I can jack the sound up so loud that my dad, who's hard of hearing, can actually hear it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he doesn't have to use headphones. Half a pull tab here. That's <laughs> really loud. It's hot ground here, too, if you can hear the ground. That hurts my ears. That's way loud. There is a target right here. You want to dig it out? You've been digging a bunch of targets here. Yeah, go ahead. You, you go for it. I'm going to dig a shallow target here. Watch oh, it be a gold ring. <laughs> we found a lot of rings in this area. So. Some deeper ones. Could, it, really could be. it very well could be a ring. Oh, there's a bunch of trash in the ground. It's a pull tab. It's an old pull tab. Look how much I'm messing up the ground for my boots and my knees. Some plastic there. Oh yeah, yeah it's, it's mushy here. The ground's really soft today. It's been raining quite a bit, so. Yeah, it's mushy ground. Yeah. Another target right here. We were right in this same area last week 
for about 30 minutes, just digging out all kinds of targets. You can't even tell where we were digging at. Right there, another pull tab. Right there, bam. That's what I'm talking about, man. Every week, you just come back to it. If your grass will permit it, right? <laughs> Hot ground there. Lots of sticks here. Oh. I'm at 44 discrimination here. Oh yeah, a coin ball, hardcore. Look at this coin ball. Oh, look at that coin ball. Oh, beautiful, it just fell apart on me. Another nickel, dude. What is that, like three or four? Yeah, that's my third or fourth nickel, yeah. Crazy, dude. Hot on the nickels today in the hot spot. You got some trash right above it, some plastic, we'll get that out of the ground. Look at that coin ball, look at that. <laughs> Dang it, why do I always have my freaking tongue op hanging out, dude? When I, I'm like... <laughs> what flavor is it today? <laughs> <laughs> that was nasty, dude. <laughs> Oil boost your immune system up. <laughs> some of my videos are showing you what to do, and some of my videos are showing you what not to do. And that... My friend, don't have your tongue hang out of your mouth when you squeeze a coin ball. Another pull tab. Another pull tab. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how many targets are here, dude. There's a lot less targets now the last, this last six months. But we just worked on it, worked on it week by week by week. We could sometimes come here three or four days a week for a lot of hours. Try that one. Oh yeah, it's clean tone, listen to that. I'm digging smaller holes here because this is not, these targets are not very deep. Oh, it's, this one's a little bit deeper here. Next to root. Right here, right next to this root. Right in there. Right there. Another pull tab. Square tab. There's a big root right there. Big in there. Oh yeah, big target. We're gonna find a ring. I don't wanna see what this big target is, but I might not make it. Oh, this junk. I'm gonna dig it out. I'm not getting any rejection tones on it one way, so this one's kind of intriguing me a little bit. I'm gonna go for it. This one might be kind of hard to find, but I'll go for it. Right there. Yeah. This is hot ground, so. A lot of times that the ground will mask targets here. It'll mask tones. This one sounded kind of iffy. On its edge. Not really. Oh yeah. Some angle iron. Oh yeah, some, some iron there. Let's see what we got here. A half a pull tab right there. Iffy tone right there. Right there. More in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
A lot of iron uh, rejection tones here. Uh, it could be foil. Um, it could be foil masking and on ferrous target, like a half a pull tab. There are just a lot of half pull tabs here because we've really pulled out so much stuff here. It's a tongue to a pop can right there. No. Just can slaw. Some aluminum. Yeah. Kind of an iffy tone there. Some garbage. Spend about a half an hour here, 40, 40 minutes, sometimes an hour each hunt, just right in this area right here. Just digging out target after target after target. Then come back next week, do the same thing. This one has a lot of rejection here, probably some, some can slaw here. Could be some jewelry. Screamer. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Is that a coin ball? No way. It's a bullet. Right there. Um, no, that's a pipe. I think that's a pipe. Yeah, that's a part of a some brass pipe or something. Some tubing had a flared end on it. Screamer. I'm not going to go very deep on this one. I got some beans cooking at home, man. Can't wait. Can't wait to get in those beans, man. Pull tab. Right there. Kind of sound like two targets was in there. There was two targets in there. There's another one right here. Oh, in the gravel. What's that? What's that? Found a pull tab in the hole with a relic, dude. What kind of relic is this? I don't know what the heck it is. Is it a chess piece? Is that a top of a chess piece right there, you think? Oh, I think that is a... Uh, or a handle to something. I think, it, yeah, I think it's a handle. It could be a top to a light. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Brass. Relic, dude. Yeah, it's a relic. It's bizarre, man. It's better than my relic. <laughs> yeah, his relic was iron. Two target hole there. There was a lot of targets in this area. Just, you pop a plug and three pull tabs come out of the same hole. So we've worked on this area so much. It's just hard to even fathom how trashy it was. If you go, it's hard to make um, compilations or playlists on certain areas because I have so many videos. I'm almost to 6,000 videos on my channel. And if you go back a couple years, I've been hunting the same, around the, the trees, you know, we found so many rings, lots of jewelry around this area. When we first um, were hunting it, there, it was so trashy, it was unbelievable. What's this? Do you remember what this is? Or just like a wood frame here? Oh, it's, it used to be a barbecue right there. That's why there's a lot of rejection over here. See this, all this rejected stuff, that's foil. Bottle caps too. There's a square of uh, some lumber here. Really mushy over here. Oh, it is deep. This is good. Right here. On the sidewall there, I'm hunting on the hill, so it's harder to pinpoint targets on the hill. Right there. 
some Cantua. Some aluminum, part of a Coke can. Right there. Very strong tone here. This one sounds like a coin. This one could be a coin here. Shallow coin here. Or some jewelry, a ring or something. Oh, it's really muddy on this hill. Right there, right there. Oh, come on, Brandt. Oh, yeah. Some pull tab on his edge. Right on the side wall there. Pull tab. Spanking him out, man. Spanking him out. There's a lot of people who won't dig pull tabs. Yep, there is. But those gold ra gold rings read up in the same range as those pull tabs, man. He's on a screamer there. I would say the average size gold ring that I find is within the range of the pull tabs. So if you're notching out those pull tabs or discriminate the pull tabs out, you're missing a majority of your rings. And jewelry, it's jewelry, right? Yeah, there's a lot more. I would say that there's more targets in the ground that are mid conductors within the range of pull tabs. That's why so many people skip their pull tabs or reject their pull tabs. But once you start hunting around people who are digging those pull tabs out and you are rejecting those pull tabs, you quickly re realize that you are skipping most of your jewelry. Just a fact about metal detecting, that is a fact. But a lot, of a lot of people don't have the energy to dig a lot of the targets that we dig out too. You know, it's just, you know, the, the conditioning that your body has to be in to metal detect for long hours, or just metal tech period. You know, everybody has different abilities, right? It takes a lot of energy to dig all these pull tabs. Some jewelry? Get some jewelry? Oh yeah. I don't know, dude. I don't think so, it doesn't look like jewelry. 